how can retail spaces so large as this one right in front of the park be up for lease can you explain that two back-to-back -back places for lease right in front of the park nobody wants it this store is open right in front of the park but it looks like it's been recently vandalized the glass is broken on both doors there's the park right in front advertising anybody no they'll vandalize that too they broke this display let's see the one around it now this one's still there it's got a little nick over here looked like they broke it right in front of the park what else is in front of the park people taking a nap good night this was Pedro's Cantinas, one of my favorite spots in the city to check out the games. Close now. There's the uh, For Lee sign. We're at Oracle Park, home of the San Francisco Giants, here in the Soma District, San Francisco. A lot of the comments have suggested to come around here and check out all the stores that are closed around the park. You always nail it in the comments for places to go. I hope to hear more from you. You can have food at the ballpark, but not before or afterwards, because everything's closed. Let's walk around the park to see if we can find anything open. Looks like they got some golden gloves in there. Sometimes the bikes take over the city. This here used to be Pedro's Cantinas and it's now for lease. 30,000 square feet. Looks like there was somebody taking a nap here recently. This was a big bar and restaurant right in front of the park. That's the Oracle Park right across the street. Close now. <laughs> right next to Pedro's Cantina, we have this other place for lease right in front of the park. Look how large this space is. Here is the main entrance. I don't know if it's two units. Maybe this one here and the one here on the right. But it's for lease. Right in front of the park. That's the park on that corner. And on this block, every single shop is closed. Everything's for lease except for the Safeway on the corner. Let's start. Here's the first one for Lee's. That's the first door. We're coming up on the second one for Lee's. Retail space. That's the door. Here's another one for Lee's. And another one. This one looks like it's already rented out. There's some art in there. It's not open yet. And here is the last one. Retail for lease. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Here's a small plaza. Some graffiti. Here next to the plaza, look, this says Tender Greens. I think this used to be a restaurant. Close now. This was the outdoor seating area and here comes more shops that are closed. This one doesn't say for lease but it's empty. Oh, this is what used to be the uh, tender greens. Looks like this one recently closed because there's the coffee equipment sitting there. Here's another one for lease. The whole row. Oh, it looks like there's a Wells Fargo down there. Here's another one for Lee's. And another one for Lee's. It doesn't end. They removed the for Lee signs on this one. There's only paper. But it's empty. You can see it in there. 
you can see inside it's all empty right next to this train station this is the only store that's open it's a Safeway if you want to score a sandwich after a game this is the place to be everything else is closed next corner across the street from the Safeway we have another restaurant for lease this corner here used to be Panera Bread half the block here's another one for lease this used to be a dry cleaner for lease here's another place for lease this one's large for lease this corner too is for lease this one is all boarded up boards boards Here's uh, the for lease sign, retail for lease. And this one's just office space for lease. Let me know in the comments where will you go to chill before or after a game? Would you stick around? Maybe go to Safeway? Or maybe just find another place in the city? I'd like to hear what you have to say and I'll see you in the next video.